Hello guys and girls, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to part 29 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we are 44% into the story of this game and I'm surprised. At first I thought we're maybe like 50 or 60% into the story of this game, but I'm, I'm, I'm completely wrong. So I'm really surprised how big is this game and how much story is here in this game. So yeah, here we are at our camp. Everybody is... Uh, doing their own thing everybody's ha you know everybody's just doing great and we have a we have one mission here at our camp and I think it's from Adler so yeah we're gonna go into the camp and just meet her and talk about something I don't know what does she want from us but we shall see so she's all the way here just uh just sitting here in front of the this big beautiful house well it's not any more beautiful but still the outside really looks beautiful so here she is just uh, doing something to her uh Magazine. Let's greet her. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. You know, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh my nuggets! It's scary. What the heck? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! O'Driscoll boys are coming! Oh, those are the O'Driscolls! No way! What is going on here? Okay, what the heck is going on here? This is... What is this all about? Okay, but I'm at... Okay, we need to go downstairs. Let's go. Oh, crap. What was that all about? The damn old Driscolls. Yeah, just everybody inside of this place. There's a lot of them coming towards us right now. So everybody come inside. Come on, go everybody. Okay, let's try to help them out for a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, yes, we're getting all these headshots. There's a lot of them coming towards us right now. But there might be more more of them coming, you never know. Oh, there's, there's a wagon coming towards us? Oh, we have to fall back. Go, 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 everybody, back! Back to the mansion. Get them doors barricaded. Oh, we have to push a cabinet. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Come on, Arthur. Push it. Go, push. Get those doors barricaded quick. Good. Now, everyone, I've got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. That was so disgusting. Okay, come on. Break this window. There's a lot of them. Oh yes! Get all these Andri Andriscolls. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Oh, there's another one trying to hide from us. Is everybody inside? Sadie, oh. Go help Cover me. Come on, we have to help her. Let's go. Is she fine? Oh, there's Andriscoll. Got him. Oh, she needs our help really badly. Is she okay? Oh crap! 
Whoa! Damn! Look at her go! Are you fine? Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. I have nothing to say about we that, but just good job. Out. Keep it going. Oh, okay. no, oh no. Come on, hide. Get all these uh, out Driscoll boys. Got him. Another headshot. Oh, they're on the boat. Look at them. <laughs> they're just they're trying to run away from us. Oh no, they ran away. No way. Okay, where the heck are they? Are, are, is he? Oh, they're coming out of the water. Got him. Yay, of course they need us. Oh, wow, there's so many of them. Come on. Grab the pistol. Hold the revolvers. Oh, wow, there's so many of them. Nice. We got dual wield revolvers. Okay, we need to hide. We need to hide quickly. I need some cover. Okay, wh where are they? Okay, there's one. Okay, nice one. Nice. Okay, keep going. Got him. Oh, good job, everybody. But we should keep moving. That's all I'm saying. We should keep moving. Keep protecting the base. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take out uh, the repeater rifle. Oh, it is not over. Getting all these... Oh, they're running away from us. We got the last one. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but... Not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Poor kid, man. Like, I feel really bad. I don't know what happened. I don't know how they found our place. Where where are we this staying? But life, that was very unexpected. This. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. What a very unexpected thing that happened. Horseman Apocalypse. Okay, well, so we got a bronze medal for that. Let's see, what did we do wrong? Complete using only sidearms. Get 15 headshots. Shoot the O'Driscolls the, uh, on, in the boat before they uh, dismart. Oh yeah, they were on the boat for a second, but yeah, we didn't get them. Okay, well, poor kid, man. I feel so bad for that, for him. But okay, uh, we have a couple of missions in St. Denis by the looks of it, so what we're going to do is get back on our horse, and we also have a couple of uh, stranger missions. So what we also could do is maybe purchase a new weapon, because we still have so much money, and I would like to spend it on something at least. So I'm going to go onto the map, and let's see what is the closest thing that we can do here. So we have a uh, stranger mission right here, and also... Uh, should we buy a new horse? No, I think we should not. We're gonna go to the gunsmith and then to another mission by the looks of it. Dutch. Oh yeah, of course, Dutch. So we're gonna go to the stranger mission. How about that? And then we should keep going to to that to uh, Saint Denis, basically. Wow, that was really unexpected. I thought it's going to be maybe another small mission that we're gonna do, but I was um, I was underestimated. Really badly. 
Yeah, we really need to move camp because uh, now the O'Driscolls know where are we camping out. But I'm curious, how do they know that we're camping out in this uh, in this place? I think maybe Kira, uh, Karen maybe said it to them. I don't know, but they should better... We should maybe better, better look out. Oh, what is going on? I hear somebody saying, oh no. Okay, there's some gunshots going on there. <laughs> we're not going to go towards there. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm just going straight to the town. And then we're going to do some business, maybe. Uh, I'm curious. Do we have any pistols? We only have revolvers. That's on the only smallest pistol that we have right now. If I'm right about that. Yeah, we only have... Actually, we, only, we have a volcanic pistol here. But I would like to maybe purchase something different. So that's what, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into the gunsmith and maybe do a couple of upgrades to some of our guns. But yeah, we shall see what, we'll, uh, what we will do. And here we are at the town. Well, it's not a town. It's more of a city. Sorry about that. Drunk people. A lot of uh, rich people, of course. Here we also have a stranger mission. But we're going to leave that alone. We're going to go straight for this one. Okay, here we are. Okay, we're going to get off our horse. And it looks like there's already some people waiting for us. Yes, hello. Let's greet these uh, fine people. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. 
Okay, so we got a very interesting conversation with uh, two people about uh, going to an oil place and stealing something, but we could maybe do that because those are some sort of na uh, some really nice people. So I don't know. They said they're gonna pay us handsomely, but I sort of don't trust them. Like, sorry, I have to say this, guys, but sometimes I really don't trust people. But okay, uh, we we shall do that today. So, but first we're gonna go to the gunsmith and. Uh, See what sort of options of guns that we can buy. So let me first put a waypoint because uh, the city is still a really big place and I might get lost here. So we're just going to put a waypoint so we know where are we going. And then we're going to see what sort of stuff can we do here. Okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, th th this is the really annoying thing about this city. Like, it's so small. The, the roads are like super narrow. So you can't really move around that much. Okay, here we are at the gunsmith. First time being here, so we better sell some really nice and expensive guns. I'm also kind of curious, do we have any shotguns actually on our horse? Because I think we do not actually have a shotgun, if I'm right about that. Do we actually have one? Because I, w because I actually would like to maybe buy one. No, okay, no, don't touch the saddle. No, don't pull out a gun. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see if we have any shotguns or anything here that we can buy. Yes, hello my good sir. Yes, I will. Well, I'm... I'm sort of looking for a shotgun. Because we actually already own a shotgun by the looks of it. But we could go for maybe a pump action or a pistol. So let's maybe look for the pistol options because I think we do not actually have a... Uh, really decent uh, pistol except for some revolvers and all that uh, ooh, these are some really expensive ones so so we already have the volcanic pistol but this one lo really looks interesting the semi-automatic pistol it's the p most powerful European wonder very good chop suey on the street. that sounds uh, very yeah, interesting if they're talking about the most powerful European wonder I'm gonna buy it <laughs> I just instantly bought it, so you it really actually really looks. Decision. It sort of looks like a World War One or World War Two weapon. Sort of looks like it. But okay, uh, what can we do here on this weapon? Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? Oh really? You can okay. Do that to this model for a great price. I'm actually gonna put like a, maybe like a grayish uh, grip That's on it. Fine firearm. Oh yes, it is a I very fine one. For the uh, let's also add a long barrel on it. Uh, rifling, improve rifling. How about that? We're gonna increase the the range and everything like that. Uh, we Would can... you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Yes, of course I will. I'm right now changing the parts, and we got an achievement for some reason: locked and loaded. Okay, very interesting. Metals, should we actually put a nice metal on it? I think we should not. I think we should be good. We could maybe buy some ammunition. Let's buy some express rounds. And I think we should be done for right now. So, we spent $210 on this weapon and also these upgrades. But, I think we should be fine. We could also maybe buy some ammunition maybe. Uh, some maybe... Maybe some uh, revolver cartridges. And I think we should be good for right now. So, there you go. We're going to close the book. And I want to take a look at my weapon. Got what I need. Semi-automatic pistol. Very nice. Well, we're going to check right it out. Uh, so where is it? Oh, it's right here. Wow, look at it. It's... Ooh, it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna point it at the ground. Hey, don't just put that thing away. Yes, I will. I'm gonna put that away. Sorry, sir. Let's go, boy. I was just trying to uh, test out my uh, new weapon that I bought for $210. Okay, so, uh, next mission is, right, I think, right here. So we're gonna get out of our hordes. Is that a Chinese restaurant? That <laughs> sort of looks like a Chinese restaurant. But okay, we're gonna go into here into the corridors and uh, okay where is Dutch where are we are we in the right area I think we're not <laughs> hang on this is like some of the like back alleys are really confusing at some points okay we're gonna leave our horse here there's no point on getting on back on my horse and just going around so okay just jump over it doesn't matter just drop the bucket okay so we have to go all the way around just to speak to Dutch. Okay, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's just, he's just sitting there in some kind of back alley. Hi there, Dutch. I'm uh, here. Come on, keep walking. You're late. 
couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. Put your hands up, buddy. We're gonna rob you. Give me all of your money. We just want money. Thank you, don't my good sir. Kill you. I'm gonna rob no Ed, another. Give me your money. Fine. Come on, Eight give me all of your money. Mr. S, check that room back there. Okay. Yes, just give me everything. It doesn't matter what you have. Okay, next person. Okay, we're not being a really good, nice person, but it doesn't matter. We need the money. Give me all of your money, right now. Thank you, my good sir. Just stay there. Nothing? Really? Okay, well, open this gate right here. Come on. We don't want to hurt any of you. Okay, he better open that door. Finally. Okay, so we are inside. So, open the safe, buddy. They keep much cash in there. Open it. Do I give it care? Thank you, my good sir. I'm just gonna take all this money. Really? There's nothing. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn out. We got you surrounded. That Six greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are you gonna do, gentlemen? Something. You try. You try. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Oh, we're going on a trolley. Let's go. Oh, the almost the half of the law in Saint Denise is following us. And wow, that was a pretty good headshot. Oh yes, yeah, so we have a couple of them in the alleyways. Oh yes, he will. He's gonna pay all of this. Oh, left. Okay, switch sides. Switch. I'm switching right now. Got him. Oh, this pistol is so good. Ooh, look at that headshot. Damn, this pistol is really nice. Okay, there's another one. Nice one. Okay, I'm actually going to switch weapons if I can or not. How? Holy Jesus! Dutch. Oh, there's more of them coming. How did we survive that? Okay, get all these headshots, one by one. Ow. Oh, come on, pistol. Come on, we need to get the heck. Out. We need to get out of here. Do we have anything that can that can uh, move us to a different place? Oh, which balcony? Oh, this one. Okay, I need I need something else. Oh no, we don't have anything else. Really? Don't have that many good weapons on a, on ourselves. 
Okay, it's maybe a good idea to use that eye then. No. What is your weapon? Arthur, what are you doing? Come on. No, come on. What are you doing, Arthur? God damn, you're not using that eye. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna use that eye for this. There you go. Finally, we got him. Very nice. Okay, let's move. Come on. Okay, where are we going? Lady, I'm following you. Oh, there's more law on that side. Okay, got him. Keep going. Oh, I'm dodging all the shots. And we lost our hat again. I hate that so much every time when we lose. Oh, no, there's more of them. No, where is our gun again? We can't, we keep, what, we keep keeping it like in our inventory. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, we hit. Oh, we gotta move. Come on, keep moving. Oh, more on the balcony. Come on. Yes, finally got him. Okay, good job, Arthur. There's still more of them. Come on. Okay, this pistol is really nice. So far, it's, it's doing a good job right now on killing all these people. Very nice. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, reload. We don't have that ma much ammo left, so... Okay, boss, let's move. Just need to hit these, hit these headshots. Very nice. Keep moving. Oh, there's more of them. Come, Come on. Okay. We don't have that much ammo left. Yes. Good job, Arthur. So okay, far, so good. We need a way out of here. But where? Oh, you have to turn that way. Come on. Okay, we don't have any ammo left. Okay, time to use our revolvers. Oh, come on, your revolver. Yes, nice one. Good shot. Yes, we got a wagon. We got an escape. Okay, good job. Get on, get on. Very nice. Now it's time to ex escape. We're wanted, dead or alive. Where? Oh no, we are not. Come on, get them. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, I needed a different revolver. Can I have another one? There you go. We got this one. Yes, that's much better. Come on. Oh, uh, there's still more of them. Very nice. Okay, are we? Have we escaped? There's still a really long way to go. Oh, there's more of them. Yes. Look at us go. Okay, we only have, again, nine rounds left. On, I, on, I, uh, on our semi-automatic pistol. Okay, do we do it? We're on the bridge. What? Oh, he's gonna use dynamite? Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we have to use, use, shoot it? Never mind, we didn't do it. Just keep going, man. I think we escaped. We have a bounty of $165 on ourselves. But the good thing that we're still alive after this huge shootout in the city. Oh, we're inside of a police carriage. That's just great. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, 
That's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. We only got $15. Great. And we got our bronze medal, so we're gonna take a look what did we do wrong. So prevent any lawmen jumping on the back of the wagon. Shoot the dynamite Lenny's th that Lenny throws. Yeah, we didn't do these two ones. I'm sorry about that, but still, what a big mess. That's all I'm gonna say. What a big mess. So let's call our horse. How about that? And we have a bounty. Wow, we have a bounty of $165. We should maybe pay that at some point because otherwise we might get in trouble for this. So let's take a look at the map. Wow, okay, the half of Sentinels. Wow, we have a, such a huge bounty on ourselves. But okay, uh, we also have a mission uh, by the looks of it. But the problem is it's all the way at this place in the oil field. So we could go there because this uh, this area is not any more safe. So this might be a good opportunity to go all the way towards there and do this mission in to these guys. Because yeah, this, this area is not looking good for, for now. So, what we're gonna do is also we're gonna go to some sort of post office and pay our bounty because uh, that bounty might get bigger and bigger and then at some point it's gonna say dead or alive and then we can't do nothing about it. So, yeah. So we're gonna go to that mission and uh, I'm hoping that we can uh, find some sort of post office and pay our bounty because yeah, we have a lot of money so I think we could do that at some point. So guys, we're, we are getting really close to our next mission, and I haven't found a single post office. What is going on? What is it? What does this poor guy want from us? What does it matter? You know, how about I will give you a dollar? Take this, buddy. How about that? There we go. We helped a good person. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Oh, uh, same for me, man. So, what a nice little old man. We gave him a dollar. I so, there we go. We're going to go to that person that asked us to help him with uh, some sort of a uh, stealing opportunity okay they're there okay they're just uh, hanging out on this hill just scouting out the area and uh, we're gonna get out for horse right about here hello there my good sir I'm I I'm here you came of course I came said I would there's a foreman his name is Danbury there's the files in the office above the refinery room that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Oh, there's a wagon. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I'm actually gonna do it right now. Come on, jump. 
Jump into the wagon. Come on, jump in. Jump in, Arthur. Yes. That's great. That's going to help us a lot. I'm gonna change cameras for this. So this wagon is gonna make us drive into the oil place. So now we have to find some sort of way to get inside of this place. But they better not find out if we that we're inside of this wagon, because otherwise then we are pretty much screwed. And then we have to make our way out of this place with shooting people, and which I really don't want to do. But we will, we will do our best to not do it. It's a very rainy day, so at the moment it seems like everything is doing fine. Okay, so I remember this place. The Cornwall Factory. train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I'm surprised we got through. Okay, now it's a better idea to get out. Okay, how are you gonna do this, Arthur? Okay, so he's gonna park up right about here. I'm gonna start loading up. Oh, exit out. Come on, Arthur. Run away. Sneak into the place. Okay, no. Okay, no. This. Okay, this is the wrong camera. It's like showing me a totally different camera. There you go. Finally. Okay, now. Now we. Now we have to find an area where we can sneak into. We could maybe take the stairs and go all the way up there, but should I do it? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go upstairs. This might be not really the good idea. We're gonna do it. Come on, please say that this door is open. No, not a good idea. Come on, Arthur. Say that we can open this door. No, we can't. That's going to be a problem. So it looks like we have to go from the first floor and then make our way upstairs. Which is really not a good thing, because there's going to be a lot of people working around. Oh yes, there's already one person. We could maybe take out our um, throwing knives, how about that? Yes, throwing knives, that's what we need. So let's try to sneak our way. Nice and easy. Nobody has seen us. Okay, oh that was close. I'm surprised that we're still alive. Okay, we're just sneaking in. Everybody's doing their work. Now we have to go upstairs. Wow, we actually did it. That was easy. Is there any people upstairs? By the looks of it... Oh no, there's a guy. There's a guy all the way up there. Should we kill him? No, we're not going to kill him. <clears throat> Oops, come on. Keep moving. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, we got it. And now open this door. Come on, Arthur. Open this door. Uh, you must be damn Barry. Cool. <clears throat> what? Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Hi there, buddy. I want to st speak to you about something. Some business opportunities. Or maybe not. We're just gonna throw them over the table. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. From head office. You're not from head office? Yes, I am. What are you talking about? Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I tell us. You better tell us. Think, Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. Tell us, man. It's here. It's here. 
thank you. Finally, man. You should just tell us. Otherwise, you're gonna get beat up by us. Okay. Show me. Where, where are the papers? Okay, you can just push that garbage bin. Where is it? Thank you, my nice man. Thank you. We're just gonna grab that off the table. Just uh, just take it with us. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Okay, escape office through the window. Okay, how do they know that we're inside of here? But, okay, we're just gonna open this window and escape through the window. Let's go. Oh no. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. What was that all about? Okay, well that was an explosion. Okay. Get all these guys one by one. Okay, how how did I not get you? Okay, nice. Okay, go straight that way. Okay, nice one. Oh yes, get them one by one. Keep going that way. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a lot of guys with horses and stuff. Okay, come on, Arthur. Dead eye. It's not like letting us activate dead eye for some reason. Come on, reload. Nice one. Okay, where is he? Okay, where's that guy? Oh, he's right about here. Are you okay? Yeah, we got the documents. Let's go. Let's get out. No! Arthur! You bastard! Come on! Get on the horse! Finally! How did we manage to hit that? Okay, escape. Doesn't matter. Just a little mistake that we had made. Oh, they're behind us now. Okay, pull out the, the semi-automatic pistol. Might be a good idea to use it. Nice one. Nice one. Damn, I love this pistol so much. Oh, you almost hit that sign. That might, that might be all of them. There's only three behind us. I'm hoping so. Well, I think we already escaped. There's a huge fire behind us. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. What a nice man. Wow, he actually get... Wow, I'm surprised. $125 just for that. And we got a gold medal. Okay. Let's take a look at it. So... Oh, yeah, nice. We got a gold medal for that. So I'm really happy about that. How we did this... How did, how, how did we do this? I'm surprised that we even got out of this place. Because uh, there were a lot of people behind this. But okay. Uh, while that oil place is still burning down, by the looks of it. We're going to end this video here. So... We got, we, today we actually, a lot of really bad stuff has happened at our camp, even, uh, yeah, just a lot of crazy, again, guys, like always, there's just a lot of stuff that ha has happened today, some really bad stuff and some really good stuff that, is, that has happened today, but, uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna end this video here, so it would be very, very amazing of you if you could give this video a like, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!